Hello, and thanks for stopping by Photo Play Paper today for a little folio fun. I'm Amy Sonneman, and today we're going to share how to assemble the Folio 2 to make life a little bit easier as you create beautiful gifts for family, friends, baby showers, and so much more. Before we jump into actually creating the Folio 2, I wanted to share with you what a completed folio will look like. This one was created by Joey Otlow, and in the description after this video, go ahead and click on the link in the description and you will get detailed instructions as to how to put this together. So, you know, we've got the video and then we have some written instructions that you can download as well. So when you first open your book, there are lots of flips and folds and pockets. There's pockets in here. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket on this side. There's a tall place for a nice tag in the middle. There's another pocket here that mirror each other. And then look at this. Lots of space for photos, for journaling. So cute. It's held together with a magnet or a hook and loop closure. This is what I think is so much fun. Joey made this cute closure for the envelope on the right, made with a circle punch and a few eyelets. But look at this expanding pocket. How cute is that? There are some folders that you can make. How fun is that? You can put tags and tickets and ephemera. It would be fun if you were to make this into a travel journal and put all of your extra pieces and parts and tickets and little notes into one of these so that when you go home you have everything in one beautiful folio. So that's kind of what we're making today. This one's a little bit more detailed, but definitely check it out in the description below and Joey will give you great instructions as to how you can create this beautiful folio too on your own. Put this all back together and set that aside. So we're going to go ahead and work with the black folio too. Because I personally haven't put it together yet. I've only put together the white one. And I just want to see how it looks. And I will walk you through each of the steps. But as you open up your kit, when you first get your kit, pull the packaging out. I need you to find the two magnets that are in this little bag. Just go ahead and set those aside because we will need those later. And there's going to be a lot of parts and pieces and things that we throw away as scraps. And I don't want you to throw away your magnets by accident. So put those aside someplace safe. Next, we're going to kind of look at all of the pieces. The first piece we're going to be working with is the very bottom piece that looks like this. Okay, so pull that out, set it aside. And we're going to put the extra pieces just kind of next to us and we'll pull those out as we need them. In your folio too, make sure that you keep the packaging because your instructions are on the back of the packaging. So there's instructions in the packaging and then there's an extra sheet that goes with it. So don't throw the instructions away. All right, let's set those aside. So it is already scored. We're just going to go ahead and reinforce those scores. There are four different score lines, so I'm going to have you fold each of those in, making sure that they're even on the edges. Then we're going to take our bone folder we're just going to smooth those edges out so the folds lay nice and flat. Once 
once you do that, it'll just be easier to work with. So there's the first piece, that was step one. In step two, I'm gonna have you locate piece A1, and it is five and a half inches across by seven and a half inches long. And we're gonna fold the score line back against the mountain score. So if you rub your hand over it, you're gonna feel that mountain. So we're gonna fold that back onto the mountain and then score it again with your bone folder to give it a nice pretty crease. This is going to be your first pocket page. Next you're going to go ahead and add adhesive to this piece. When you're finished it will look like this. This is step three and in step three you're going to locate piece A2 which is five inches by eight and a half inches. And if you notice at the corners, you will see where the two score lines intersect. We're gonna take our scissors and just cut right up onto the point where those two intersect, like that. We're gonna flip it over so that the side with the mountain folds are on top and we're going to fold over the mountain folds. Fold all three sides. Use your bone folder to smooth them out and then you're going to add your adhesive like we did to this piece. You're going to add your adhesive to just these three sides and that will be your pocket. When that's completed you'll have your pocket that looks like this with adhesive on three sides. Now that we have our base pocket with the adhesive on this side, we're gonna open it up flat. We're gonna take the pocket itself with adhesive on three sides. We're gonna flip it over and we're going to line it up on our page, like so. And we're gonna to want to keep it just to the right of where your score line is so it doesn't harm the pocket as the page opens and closes. When you have it lined up the way you would like it, we're just going to put a couple pieces of removable tape to keep that pocket in place while we take off the backing of our adhesive. I use a poker tool to remove the backing from the adhesive. So go ahead and take your adhesive backing off. When that's finished, you're going to go ahead and hold those pieces down, fold them over, make sure that everything is still lined up in case anything moved while you were taking the backing off. When you're happy with it, go ahead and rub down the edges and that makes your first pocket. It looks like this. Now we're gonna adhere the pocket to the actual folio itself. So this is step five. You're gonna bring in your backing. that looks like this. This is the cover of your folio. And what we're going to do is have the opening here. You're going to adhere this flap to the edge, to the left edge of the first score line. So it's going to look like this and open this way. Okay? So when you glue it, it will open from left to right and the pocket will be on the inside like so. So let's go ahead and adhere the pocket to the left hand side of your cover. When it's done, it will look like this. Then close it, use your scoring tool, and just give those edges a nice score line, just to make them nice and smooth and flat. And that completes step five. As we move on to step six, I want you to locate the scored piece 
It's scored on the left hand side and measures five and a half by seven and a half. So go ahead and locate that piece. We're going to score it on the mountain fold. So the mountain score line is here. We're going to fold it back onto the mountain score line. And then just crease that really well with your bone folder. We're going to put adhesive on this side. So go ahead and do that. When it's done, you will have a piece with your adhesive that's folded and ready to create the next pocket. We're going to set that aside and we're going to go on to step seven. And in step seven, I'm going to have you locate the piece that is two and a half inches tall by six inches wide and it's scored on three sides. So it's scored here, here, and here. Like we did before, we're going to go ahead and cut those corners off just right up to where the two pieces meet. It will look like this. You're going to flip it over and you're going to fold into the mountain score. We're going to flatten those out again with our scoring tool. Just like that. Then I'm going to have you add your adhesive to the three sides of your pocket. So go ahead and add your adhesive. Now we're going to go ahead and create the second pocket. And before we do that, I want to just show you where that's going to go. So this is your first pocket. This will be your second pocket. So it's going to adhere on this side. When you set it up, your adhesive is going to be on the left hand side of your large piece. And you're going to adhere your pocket to that same side. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to line it up at the bottom. We're going to make sure it's flush at the bottom and along both sides. We're going to use our piece of adhesive that's removable to keep that in place. We're going to flip it up and then we're going to remove our tape and secure that pocket. Once you've removed the adhesive, make sure it didn't shift. If you're happy with where it's located, go ahead and rub down the edges. We're going to bring our cover back in and we're going to adhere our pocket to the inside of that second score line. So your pocket is here. You're going to flip it over, line up your page with the pocket on the other side to the left of the second score line right here. When you have it centered the way you want it, making sure it's not crooked. Go ahead and add your piece of adhesive to keep that in place. Then go ahead and remove your backing paper and adhere your pocket. Now you have your second page and your second pocket adhered to your folio. We're going to move on to step 11. I need you to locate the pre-scored piece of paper that is three inches wide by six inches long. You're going to need your paper trimmer and we're going to make two pieces that are going to eventually be the closures for our waterfall feature on each side. So go ahead and take your piece of paper. It's three inches wide. We're going to cut it in half. So we need to cut it at one and a half inches. So you now have two closures, like this. We're going to fold them the same way we did before into that mountain score line. And then we're going to have our adhesive on this side. So I'm going to have you put adhesive here and here. So go ahead and do that. So once you add your adhesive, just set those aside. We'll use those in a minute. Next we're going to move on to step 12 and you're going to find five pieces that look like this. They're scored on one side. They measure four and a half by five and a quarter. We're going to take each of those pieces like we did before. We're going to find the side that has the mountain score. We're going to fold into the mountain. So I'm going to have you fold and score each of those pieces. 
When you're done, you're going to go ahead and add adhesive to one side. When they're done, they'll look like this. These are going to be used to create the waterfall. So we're going to bring in our cover again and assemble our waterfall. So you have pocket A and pocket B to the left. We're going to assemble our waterfall in the middle, in the center section. But before you do that, I need you to take a ruler and measure three quarters of an inch from the top. And just make a little mark. That's going to give me a guide as to where I want to start to place my first waterfall piece. So you have your adhesive here. You're going to fold that back and your first waterfall piece is going to cover those marks that we just made. We're going to cover those up. We're going to make sure that it is even on the left and right. And once you're satisfied that it's even, we're going to go ahead and add our handy dandy piece of removable tape. Then you're going to take off your adhesive and place that first waterfall. Once you're happy with it and made sure that it's centered, just go ahead and secure that piece. If any of your pencil marks are showing, just go in and erase them. <laughs> now we have our first flap, and we're going to assemble the second flap in your waterfall. This will be step 14. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have it folded over. It's scored here. We're going to push that score line so that it's flush against the bottom of the flap of the waterfall that we just placed. So when you're happy with that, put your adhesive down at the bottom. And adhere the second flap. Rub that down and do the same with all five flaps. When it's complete, you will have five pages of your waterfall that look like that. When you're done, just give each one a little bit of a crease with your bone folder to make sure they lay flat. And there's your waterfall. Do you remember the closures that we cut in the, one of the last steps? Where we cut it in half and it's a one and a half inch piece by six. We're going to place that at the bottom and that's going to stop the waterfall from popping open. So go ahead and line it up at the bottom, kind of centered left to right evenly as well as at the bottom. Tape that in place and secure it down. Once you've added your flap, bring your waterfall down and that will keep it in place. Now you can do one of two things. You can add a hook and loop to keep this closed. You can add magnets that would also keep that closed. So whatever closure you would like, you can go ahead and add that as you're decorating your folio. That will keep your waterfall closed. So that completes step 15. So this is the piece we just created. It's your waterfall. Here it is decorated. So you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. You can be as creative, as inventive as you want. These would be perfect for holding photos, as well as journaling, hidden notes, and more. This is your flap that's going to keep it in place. There's a magnet here, as well as one hidden underneath your piece here, and that keeps it in place like so, so that it doesn't flop open. The pocket that you're going to make is going to be on the back side of this 
piece on the right. Okay, so here's your waterfall. We're not working on this, but we're working here. So let's go ahead and build this pocket. I'm going to go ahead and have you find your piece of paper that again is five and a half by seven and a half. We're going to fold it back onto the mountain fold and we're going to just give it a good crease like this and add our adhesive. We're going to go ahead and set that aside for a moment. And in step number 17, we're going to locate a piece that is six inches by six and a half. It's scored on three sides. This is going to be the pocket part. It'll open at the top, and I'm going to have you cut off the corners again to create that beautiful mitered edge. Don't worry if they're perfect. You don't have to measure. Just kind of give it a little snip because no one's going to see that because that's going to be the inside of your pocket and it's going to be adhered to this piece of paper. So no one's going to know that it's perfectly mitered. Go ahead and make sure those are scored nice and flat. Then go ahead and add your adhesive to three sides on your little flaps here. You're going to put your base piece with the fold to the right and your adhesive face up. So you're going to add your pocket to the same side that you have your adhesive. You're going to line it up on three sides. I line it first on the edge and the bottom. And then add a piece of tape to keep it in place. Go ahead and remove the bottom part of your adhesive because we're going to adhere one piece first to make sure it's nice and stable. So we're going to adhere that bottom piece first, then it's easier to adhere the other two pieces. So we're going to lift that. We're going to take the adhesive off the other two sides and adhere the rest. That will make your pocket. So go ahead and adhere that. Give it a nice crease. Now you have your pocket. We're going to bring in our cover again and we're going to adhere our pocket. There's two score lines. You're going to adhere your pocket to this score line closest to your waterfall. So as you line it up, your adhesive is here, your pocket is here. You're going to line that up right next to that score line. When you get it where you want it, add your pieces of adhesive and glue it down. Just kind of rub that down with your bone folder so that it adheres nice and firmly. When you're done, you will have a pocket here. In step 20, we're going to go ahead and find the pocket. There's a pocket that needs to be scored. So we're going to go ahead and there's two score lines here. So we're going to score both of those inward on that mountain score line. Make sure you smooth that out. I smooth both of them just to make sure there's a nice crease. Then there's two more right here. One is already folded, so we'll give that a crease. And we'll go back and score that second one. I'm going to crease that. If you notice now you have these two pieces here. And basically we're going to make this an accordion envelope. So as you fold, you're going to fold the first one in, the second one over, and create your accordion. And it will look like this. And this is the piece that you'll put your adhesive to create that accordion pocket. 
So do the same thing on both sides. You're going to fold it in, back, and then over. Give it a good score. And then add your adhesive to the pieces right here. Now you're ready to assemble. We're going to adhere one piece at a time. We're going to do the left side first. Just kind of make sure that it lines up on the edge. Give that a little rub. We're going to go ahead on the right side and do the same thing. You just want to make sure that that piece doesn't stick out too far on the right or the left. So that it makes a nice looking pocket. So now you have an accordion pocket that looks like this. We'll bring in the completed one again. Joey went ahead and added this cute little closure. So you can do that as you're decorating the pocket. Your pocket will look like this once you adhere it to the right side. So we're going to do that piece next. So if you bring your cover back in, we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to put a piece of tape to keep this in place so it doesn't get in my way. We're going to go ahead and put adhesive all over the back of this pocket to make sure it's nice and secure. Now we have our adhesive on the back of our envelope. We're going to have the envelope opening to the right. So we're going to line up that envelope on the right hand side and make sure it's lined up left to right and top to bottom. When you're happy with how that looks, I do add some adhesive to the base as well as the pocket because I don't want any of that to move. Once I feel like it's secure, we're going to flip it over, take off our adhesive, and flatten it onto the base. So go ahead and do that. When you've got it in place, just kind of rub that down to make sure the adhesive is nice and secure. And now you have your accordion pocket. I can see that filled with all kinds of fun treasures, whether it be cards, photos, notes. It would be very cute for a travel album as well. We should have one more piece like this in our stash. So you have one piece that was the one and a half inches wide with our adhesive here. Go ahead and grab that piece. This is going to be step 25 and it's one and a half inches wide by six inches long. This is going to keep that first pocket in place. So if you fold all the way to the end of the far left, this pocket needs to be contained so that nothing falls out. So we're going to add this piece here, and that will keep that pocket on the left from flopping open. So let's go ahead and do that. I am going to kind of add a piece of tape over here so all of my pieces don't pop up. I'm going to center it top to bottom as best I can. I'm going to add a little piece of tape here. And then we're just going to take off the adhesive and secure that down. We're going to fold it in, double check that it's still lined up properly, just rub that down. So now you can pull that first pocket over to the left, and then this is the closure. Okay. So fun. All right, we're, we're almost there, guys. Just hang in a few more steps, and you have a completed folio two. So hang with me. You have one square piece left and it is six by six and it's scored on all four sides. So you're going to need your paper trimmer again and this is step number 26. So go ahead and grab your paper trimmer. We're going to take our six by six square, put it in our paper trimmer at a diagonal and you're going to line up the two tips so that you get a perfectly diagonal pocket. So line up the two tips on your trimmer. When you've got it right, slice through the middle and you have two triangles that are gonna make up two pockets. We'll go ahead and work with those next. We have the 
place at the bottom here where we need to miter our edges. So we're going to go ahead and cut off that square so that we can make our corners on both pieces. We're going to fold into the mountain fold on both pieces as well. When you're done, they'll look like this. But as you can see, we have these extra flaps. We need to get rid of those flaps. So you're just going to take your scissors and kind of trim those excess flaps off. So we don't want our pocket to look funky. Once you've done that, I'm going to have you go ahead and add your adhesive to both of those flaps. These will be your last two pockets for your folio too. We're going to lay out the folio. I went ahead and just taped this piece down so it didn't get in my way. You have two flaps here. There are pockets on either side. We're going to go ahead and add a pocket on each side that is like this, a triangle pocket. So what you're going to do is you're going to add your pocket on one side to the lower left and then the other pocket to the opposite page to the lower right. So once you get those in place, you can go ahead and adhere those down. Check to make sure it's still lined up properly and secure it in place. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's lined up properly before you secure it. When you're happy with it, just go ahead and rub it down. Go ahead and give that a little bit of a rub on both pockets so that it's nice and smooth. When you're done, you'll have two diagonal pockets on either side. Your waterfall in the middle, a pocket here, a pocket here with the closure. You'll have another pocket here, and of course this awesome accordion pocket on the far right. So when you go to close it, You'll close the first flap, the second flap, the accordion pocket, and then the left side. So when you're done, your book will look like this. So I'll show you the finished product one more time. We'll close it up. We're going to take this page folded in, the left page folded in, the accordion pocket folded in, and then that last pocket over the top. When you're done, it'll look like this when it's all finished. Joey went ahead and put a piece of cute twine to close it as an added little bonus. So when you're done, your book will look like this. Wouldn't that make an absolutely adorable Mother's Day or Father's Day present. How awesome is that? If you'd like to make a folio too that looks like this, be sure to check in the description. I will link the instructions to the bottom of the description so that you have those. You can go ahead and download those and print them out and have all of the instructions to be able to create this awesome folio too using Tula and Norbert. Whatever sparks your creativity, this is the perfect project to just try new things and check out different papers that would be absolutely beautiful. The ephemera, the stickers, all make such beautiful elements. So go ahead and find your creativity. And if you make something fun, we'd love to see it. Be sure to tag us at Photoplay Paper on Instagram as well as Facebook. We'd love to see your beautiful creations, and who knows, you might even find your creation on our Instagram page. That completes the folio too. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you create your own folio. We thank you so much for stopping by, and have a great day. If you liked this video, please like, share, and leave a message. Have a great day!